Hello guys, welcome back to the civil engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates. Today our lecture is about the a difference between the long column and short column. I will mention the, some of the differences which by which we can differentiate between the long column and short column. I will explain this by the diagrams also. So the first difference between these two columns is the is the ratio of the uh, is the ratio of the length to the least dimension of the column. Is the ratio of the length of the column to the least dimension. Least dimension of column, the dimension of column should be greater than 12. While in the case of the short column, this ratio of the length to the least dimension of the column, least dimension, it should be less than 12. How? Let's taking this as an example here. There's a column, and it's a 3D column, and its length, the length of the whole column is, let's suppose it's 60 foot, right? This is the length of the column, 60 foot, while the least dimension, it's uh, it, it's uh, 4 foot, one dimension of the column section, and the other dimension of the column is 2 foot, like that. One is 4 foot, one is 2 foot. So, taking the least dimension of the column, least dimension here is 2. So, dividing the length of the column, the 60 by 2, we get the ratio, which should be greater than 12. Like here, I am solving this. Uh, here, the length of the, co le le length of the column is 60 foot, while the, uh, the least dimension is 2 foot. So, dividing these two, we get the 30 foot. Sorry, it's the ratio, it, it is no unit. It means 30, which is greater than 12. In case of the long column so it means it is long column it will be categorized as long column while in case of the short column taking the same example uh, but I will uh, the, but the length here is maybe the 20 foot now taking the ratio the length of the column is 20 foot while the least dimension is 2 foot so dividing this to we get the 10 ratio which is less than 12 it means it is categorized as short column this was the main difference between these two by which we can categorize and it's the engine standard uh, engine standard that how they differentiate between the long column and the short column All right the second difference is the difference between these two is the uh, this type of column it generally fails it generally fails by buckling it generally fails by buckling what does it mean? While well, this type of columns generally fails by crushing. What does it mean? It generally fails by buckling. It means there's a column. I consider this is a column. And the load X on the column, this column length is too long. So when the load X on the column, it actually buckles and changes position like this one. So we call that these columns are generally Breaks are generally fails through the buckling failure. This rise is long column. While in case of the short column, consider this is a column, a short column, and the load X on this column, it's actually uh, uh, broken down by the crushing. Crushing means this column is generally crushed here, break down, but it does not buckle. That's why we we call it this fails by the crushing behavior, because these are the short columns. This was the second and main difference. The third difference between these two is the, the cylinderness ratio of this long column is cylinderness ratio of this long column is always greater than is always greater than 45. While the cylinderness ratio here for the long short column cylinderness ratio is always less than 45. This was the third difference between these two. The fourth difference is the the, the long column is subjected to mainly these are subjected to buckling stresses. Subjected to buckling stresses. Always the long columns are subjected to buckling stresses. Buckling stress. While the short columns are subjected to the compressive stresses. Subjected to compressive stress. We call it comp compressive stresses. The fifth 
difference between these two columns is the uh, is the low is the radius of gyration. The radius of gyration of the long column is radius of gyration is is always less. While in case of the short column, the radius of gyration radius of gyration is always more. And the last and the final and the main difference between these two types of column is the load carrying capacity. The load carrying capacity of this column is, is less. Load carrying capacity is always less. Is less. While the load carrying capacity of the short column is always more. Because these are the short column, it fills by compression, carrying capacity. So it has more capacity to take the more load. Load carrying capacity is more in case of the short columns. So these were the six differences between these two columns and by which we can differentiate between these two columns. Uh, so I hope it will help you to understand the differences between the long column and short column. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates. Thank you for watching.